we're starting to see early leaks about the RTX 5070 and 5070 Ti floating around online. Video cards shared some early insights, giving us a glimpse of what to expect from these new graphics cards. By comparing the specs and performance of the 5070 Ti with the RTX 4070 Ti, which we already know a lot about, we can get a pretty good idea of the improvements. Yes, we can't test the 5070 Ti directly yet, but the data available allows for a reasonable projection of its capabilities. So, is it time to switch? Let's start with the older one. The RTX 4070 Ti was a prime example of NVIDIA's Lovelace GPU architecture, which leverages TSMC's 4 nanometer manufacturing process for notable improvements. Unlike the previous Ampere generation, which used an 8 nanometer process from Samsung, this smaller node enables significantly higher clock speeds and greater energy efficiency. The GPU's transistor count has more than doubled compared to the RTX 3070 Ti even though its die size is about 25% smaller. This level of compactness results in a slightly reduced TDP of 285 watts versus the 3070 Ti's 290 watt, which highlights improvements in thermal efficiency. The RTX 4070 Ti packs 7680Q to cores for general purpose computing, 60 ray tracing cores for rendering realistic lighting, and 240 tensor cores to handle advanced machine learning tasks. These components work smoothly to power DLSS 3, which introduces full-frame generation to enhance performance and visual fidelity, reminiscent of how DLSS 2 transformed 4K gaming when Ampere launched. The RTX 4070 Ti comes with 12GB of GDDR6X VRAM. It runs at a memory clock speed of 1313 MHz and uses a 192-bit memory bus that gives it a total bandwidth of 504.2 gigabits per second. If you're wondering whether 12 gigabytes is enough for 4K gaming, don't worry. This card has more than enough power to handle high refresh rate 4K displays. It's a big step up from the RTX 3070 Ti, which often struggled with anything beyond the most basic settings. But 8K gaming is another matter. While the card might hit decent frame rates, it's limited by its lack of DisplayPort 2.1 output, which means you're capped at 60 FPS no matter what. For most gamers, this probably won't be a deal breaker, but it's something to keep in mind if 8K is your focus. Now let's talk about the 5070 Ti. According to video crads, the release dates for RTX 5070 Ti and RTX 5070 remain unclear at this time. Both models, however, are anticipated to debut during the first quarter of next year. But what adds weight to this speculation is that Zotac has already confirmed the existence of the RTX 5070 Ti and is actively preparing for its release. This timing aligns with the possibility of its unveiling at CES 2025. The RTX 5070 Ti's specifications appear to be finalized unless the launch is significantly delayed. As per details shared by Kopitz Kimi, the card is set to utilize the GB203-300 GPU, equipped with 8960 CUDA cores. Additionally, it will feature a 256-bit GDDR7 memory configuration that will offer a capacity of 16 gigabytes. The power consumption is expected to hover around 300 watts, though some reports suggest a slightly lower figure of 285 watts. These details further cement its place as a high-performance GPU in NVIDIA's upcoming lineup. For performance metrics of the RTX 4070 Ti, we'll show you benchmark results of Tecradar. They basically compared it with the Radeon 7900 XT, the RTX 4070 Ti does better when it comes to tasks like ray tracing and creative work, while AMD's RX 7900 XT performs stronger in regular gaming visuals or rasterization. In tests that focus on ray tracing, like 3D Mark Speedway and Port Royal, Nvidia's RTX 4070 Ti wins, but only by a small amount, just a few hundred points. However, in gaming-related tests like Time Spy and Fire Strike, AMD's RX 7900 XT pulls way ahead. At both 1440p and 4K resolutions, it scores thousands of points higher that shows how powerful it is for gaming. The RX 7900 XT offers competitive performance, but its capabilities take a hit in creative applications like Blender benchmark tests. This is largely due to Blender cycles being specifically optimized for CUDA, which gives NVIDIA cards an inherent advantage. 
As a result, even the older RTX 3070 Ti edges past the RX 7900 XT in this test, and the RTX 4070 Ti leaves it far behind, which makes NVIDIA the better option for Blender users. In gaming, the competition is closer. The RTX 4070 Ti pulls ahead in ray tracing performance, leveraging its advanced architecture to render realistic lighting and shadows with greater efficiency. However, in non-ray tracing scenarios, the RX 7900 XT occasionally closes the gap and even takes the lead in certain titles. Still, the overall differences in gaming performance between the two cards remain relatively narrow, and it makes the choice less about raw performance and more about specific use cases or preferences. Now, we already mentioned that the RTX 5070 Ti delivers a powerful 8960 CUDA cores organized into 70 streaming multiprocessors. That's a notable 16% improvement over the 4070 Ti, which promises a considerable performance uplift. If reports are accurate, the memory operates at 28 gigabits per second. That's aimed to offer a total bandwidth of 896 gigabits per second. This level of bandwidth places the 5070 Ti closer to the 5080, even with a 20% difference in core counts. For context, last generation's RTX 4080 and 4070 Ti showed a much wider gap in specifications, leading to a price difference of nearly $400. Blackwell seems to tighten this margin, but pricing decisions remain with NVIDIA. Additionally, the 5070 Ti's power consumption is rated at 300 watts, an increase of 15 watts compared to the 4070 Ti, which indicates a more power-hungry yet performance-driven design. Samsung plans to start making its new GDDR7 24 gigabits, or 3 gigabyte memory, in large quantities early next year. These new modules might show up in an updated RTX 50 Super Series, which could offer 50% more VRAM capacity. However, that's just an educated guess for now. If you need a lot more VRAM, especially for AI work, you'll likely need to pay more for NVIDIA's Blackwell Data Center accelerators or the future Blackwell Workstation GPUs. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Ti is currently available at nearly $900. We don't know the official price of the 5070 Ti yet, but it's going to drain your wallet for sure. What do you think? Is the 5070 Ti worth spending the money? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.